Apart from ZK Sync and StarkNet, Scro is another ZK EVM that you may want to keep an eye on. Scro is still in its alpha testnet, so this means that you could qualify for a future airdrop without incurring any costs at all. Today, I'll be showing you some of the activities that you can do on the Scro testnet. Since Scro is still in its testnet version, we will need to get some ETH tokens for the Goali network, and this is the testnet version of the actual Ethereum mainnet. There are some forces that you can use to get this Goali Ethereum, and I'll leave a link below to a video that I previously did on this topic. Now that we have Goali Ethereum, the next step is to bridge these funds from Goali to the scroll alpha testnet. This is similar to the process if you're trying to qualify for the mental airdrop as well and that video can also be found in the description. You can enter the amount of Ethereum that you wish to transfer over and while it does not cost any fees to do so, you will need to pay a certain amount of gas fees to transfer your funds over to scroll. This amount can be very high so that's something you may want to take note of before you decide on the amount of ETH that you want to bridge over. The supply of goalie Ethereum is actually limited so you may also want to keep some of it behind. If you're looking to qualify for other airdrops, they are also still in its testnet version. This bridging transaction may take quite a while, so in the meantime, we can perform some other tasks. We can go to the alpha portal to add the scroll alpha testnet to our MetaMask wallet. So right now, the Ethereum has actually been bridged over to the scroll network, and even though it has a certain dollar value here, this Ethereum is actually worthless in real life because these are just testnet tokens. Scroll asked us to test out these following applications, and this bridge is actually the one that we previously used to bridge our funds from Goali to scroll. The rest of these links will direct you to various blockchain explorers, and what you can do is to copy your MetaMask wallet address, and then paste it here to see some of the transactions that you've performed. This is the Goali testnet block explorer. So these are just the transactions on the layer 1. I can also paste my wallet address on this Scroll explorer to view all of the transactions that I did on this layer 2. Apart from playing around with these different platforms, we can try out the different decentralized applications that are found on the Scroll network. These applications aren't really found on Scroll's website, which is different from the likes of ZK Sync era and the consensus ZK VM. So I'll be going through some of the applications you can use to perform transactions on the Scroll alpha testnet. The Scroll network has a live version of Uniswap on its testnet, we can use this platform to swap our tokens. The options are actually quite limited as we can only swap between Ethereum and Wrap Ethereum. So this is more of like a wrapping transaction that you can perform instead of an actual swap. So if you do want to find some tokens that you can swap your Ethereum to, you can actually create one of these tokens using a smart contract. This may sound rather complicated, but the process is pretty straightforward. You can follow the steps exactly like what I did to deploy this smart contract. I'm using the instructions that were listed out by OX Fast Life on Twitter, where it shows you how to create an ERC token on any EVM compatible network. He was doing this for the base network but we can follow the similar steps. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to this open Zeppelin and we can create an ERC20 token. The main things that we need to enter include the name of the token as well as its symbol and the number of tokens that are found in its initial supply. These were the parameters that are entered and it doesn't really matter what you put here but you may also want to make sure that you have a significant amount of the token supply so you may want to put a rather large number under the premium field. Once all of these have been entered, you can click on the open in remix button. This will bring you to the Ethereum IDE where it helps you to deploy the smart contract on one of these networks that are compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine. Once your code has been loaded, you can go to this button here which is known as the Solidity Compiler. And what you need to do is to click on the Compile Contract button. So you should get this indication that the compilation is successful. And we can go to the Deploy and Run Transactions tab. So this is the most important step of deploying this smart contract. So what I noticed was that the network they are currently connected on MetaMask will determine which network you're deploying this smart contract on. So for example, if you want to deploy this smart contract on the scroll testnet, then you need to select this network to become your active network. I actually made this mistake and I selected the Goali test network. So my smart contract was deployed on Goali instead of the scroll network. The next step is to select this environment. Instead of it being this Remax VM, we need to select this option of being injected provider dash MetaMask. So this will prompt you to connect your MetaMask wallet to the Ethereum IDE. And this will also make sure that the smart contract is being deployed by your wallet address. This will be useful because it also shows that you are an active contributor of the scroll network and by deploying this smart contract, it is possible that you may get a higher allocation of the scroll airdrop when it comes out. But once you have connected your MetaMask wallet, the address here should be the same as your current MetaMask address. You do not need to change any of these parameters and we can click on the deploy button. This will show you the gas fee that you need to pay to deploy this smart contract. You can see there's actually a very small amount. You can view the status of your smart contract at this bottom field and this message here will indicate that your smart contract has been deployed on the scroll network. So now that we already have this smart contract, you can go to the deployed contracts tab and this will be some of the parameters that you can play around with your newly created token. So you can go to the transfer tab and you can enter your address as you are sending some of these tokens to your own personal wallet. So interestingly for the amount side, you actually need to enter quite a huge number before you can receive a certain amount of tokens. So for example, if I only enter the value of 100, I'll get this extremely small amount of tokens. So we actually need to add about 20 
zeros before we can get one of our newly created token. So you can just spam the number of zeros over here. And once you're done, you can click on transact. So this will be the amount of tokens that I'll be sending over to my own wallet address. And I can confirm the transaction. Again, you can view the status of the transaction, which is found in this box here. And this will signify that you now have transferred those tokens to your own wallet address. Now that you've created this token, we can now provide some liquidity using the Ethereum token. So you can click on this button here to copy your smart contract address for this token. And we can go back to the Uniswap platform. And under the select a token page, you can paste your contract address. Your token name should appear over here. And this will be the amount of tokens that you have sent to your wallet. You can just ignore this warning as this is in the testnet version. And none of these tokens are actually real. So right now, if you actually want to swap your Ethereum tokens to your newly created token, you may realize that there is insufficient liquidity for this trade. So instead, what we need to do is to create a liquidity pool on Uniswap itself between your newly created token and the Ethereum token. This is done by going to the pool section and you can click on new position. Here you can add your random token. You can choose the fee tier that you want to create. I'm actually not too sure how all of this works. So I'll just randomly enter some numbers over here. But right now I'm unable to deposit any Ethereum and I can enter the amount of this newly created token that I wish to deposit into my pool. So you can click on the approve rent token and this will be a token approval transaction. You can find out a bit more about token approvals in a video that I previously did and I'll leave a link in the description. So what I realized was that the starting price of this pool needs to be between both the minimum and maximum prices that you set over here and then this will allow you to deposit both Ethereum as well as your newly created token into this liquidity pool. After the approval transaction has been completed, I can enter the amount of both the newly created token and Ethereum that I'll be depositing into the pool and this will be the details that you can have a look again before you confirm the transaction. Again, all of this doesn't really matter because all of these tokens are not real so you can just play around and have some fun by choosing some really crazy ranges. So again, you need to approve this transaction and the gas fees are also rather cheap. So now this pool has been created and I've also deposited my Ethereum tokens and this new random token into the Uniswap pool. Under this pool section, you can also choose to withdraw your liquidity by selecting this option and then you can approve this withdrawal transaction as well. Apart from this airdrop, there are many others that you could potentially qualify for and some of them just require you to do a few simple steps. I've created a blog on Mirror where I've released some of these short guides to qualify for these smaller airdrops and you can check all of them out in the description below. SingSwap is yet another decentralized exchange that is similar to Uniswap and they are also available on the Scroll Alpha testnet. SingSwap is currently live on the ZK Sync era mainnet and they've also just announced their Sync token which will be distributed to early users of their platform. On the Scroll Alpha testnet, we can perform some swaps between any of these tokens. So you may notice that I actually have these crazy amounts of tokens in my wallet. So this is done by going to the Faucet tab where you can claim all of these tokens. So you need to pay a more transaction fee for this claiming as well and you are only able to claim this once. Apart from making some swaps between all of these test tokens, you can also go to the pools page to add some liquidity. This was just a random pool that I added my funds into but you can click on new position and you can choose between the two different tokens that you wish to provide liquidity for. So let's say for this example, I'll be adding some maker tokens as well as the USDC stablecoin. Yeah, so for the pool type, we can just leave it as classic and it doesn't really matter especially since all of these are testnet tokens. Once we click on the enter pool button, we can now go to deposit and this will allow us to add a certain amount of these test tokens into the liquidity pool. So for the fun of it, I'll just add 2.5 maker tokens and you can select this option to add the tokens in a balanced proportion. So you don't really need to care about the ratio between the USDC and maker tokens. So this time round, I'll need to perform two token approvals first before I can deposit my funds into this liquidity pool. So instead of actually spending a transaction, SingSwap requires you just to sign this message. After locking both of these tokens, we can now deposit them into the pool. The transaction has now been confirm and you can click on my position to view the amount of tokens that you have deposited in this pool. You can also click on the withdraw button to withdraw all of the funds from the pool so that you can receive your tokens in your wallet. Apart from trying out those platforms, there are a few games already that are released on the school network and you can just play with them to try it out. There's even an on-chain tic-tac-toe that you can play along. So all you need to do is to connect your wallet and you can start playing it right away. So these are two other games that you can play as well and I'll leave the links to them in the description below. Let me know in the comments how your experience was when you were trying out all of these games. You can also use the testnet version of Orbital Finance to bridge our Ethereum tokens from the scroll alpha back into the Ethereum Goalie testnet. You'll be charged a withholding fee which is not too high and the good thing is that the gas fees are also quite low so you do not waste too much Goalie Ethereum for this transaction. This may take a while as the funds are being bridged back from the scroll network to the Goalie testnet. Other activities we can perform for the airdrop include joining scroll's discord channel as well as their guild. All you need to do is follow scroll on Twitter and meet this criteria and this will ensure that your wallet is linked to both your discord channel and Twitter account. Let me know in the comments if there are any other transactions you can do to potentially qualify for more scroll tokens. Apart from just this scroll airdrop, there are many other events that you can participate in to get even more tokens. And check out my video here where I show you a guide on how to get one of them.